Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. How's it going? It's yours truly, Jared Klein, here with a, another episode of the little docu series we like to call Inspiration. Um, I attributed the title to it in the last video, so if you haven't checked out episode one, um, the link is down below in the description. But today, to kind of segue off of what we talked about last week, inspiration doesn't just come from independent material or readings or um, looking through Behance or Pinterest or Twitter um, at other people's work. Inspiration can also come from the words of a very important figure that I like to call a mentor. What is a mentor, you ask? Well, we will be going into it in this video, so stay tuned um, and thank you for coming out today. So what is a mentor, you ask? Um, so basically a mentor, at least in my words, is a person I trust and I look to for advising, whether that be your, your dad, your parents, I guess I said your dad for no reason, but whether that be your parents, a close friend, um, a person that's within the same, I guess, realm as you are for me, it would be designing or business. Um, I look up to them as a source of gathering information from them, asking them questions, asking them to critique me. You will see the definition of mentor right here as it pops up on Google. I mean, a mentor is someone that's very influential um, in your life that supplies very usable information to you and allows you to be able to ask them questions and for them to be super open to you about critiquing you, um, about telling you what they think. While you have this mentor, um, you will be open, um, at least I am open to receiving the information that they're giving to me because I trust their judgment. I trust their experience and I trust that they will be looking out for me and have my interest, um, have my interest and I, and like feelings and emotions and, and how I develop things in their best interest when they're giving me that advice. So to kind of connect this into my personal life, um, I have a couple mentors. Um, I initially first came along the whole essence of mentorship when I started trading um, within the Forex market and really looking into becoming an entrepreneur. My mentors were people that have already established success within the certain industries that I wanted to go into. Um, so I looked to them for guidance. I looked to them for advice. Um, I always made sure I, had, I asked questions to them. And right off the bat, I made sure I made sure both sides were going to be very transparent and very open with one another for um, constructive criticism. Um, in the design world, I have, I think, one or two or three, I guess, mentors. I can consider people as mentors, um, but I really only have one person that I really go to and go towards for um, inspiration, um, for guidance, for constructive criticism. And I mean, it's it's always like, it's always, let's say I'm working on something, I send a screenshot over to them, they're 100% transparent with the feedback that they give. You can have mentors in, whether it's whether it's not design or entrepreneurship, you can have um, mentors in sales, um, whether you're a sales saleswoman or salesman, you can have a mentor in sales, you can have a mentor in business, you can have a mentor in um, painting, um, acrylics, overarching business topics, you can have a mentor in, geez, you can have a mentor in anything. You could even have a mentor in public speaking, positive self-image, um, positive reinforcement, um, self-confidence, motivation. Literally, you have a mentor in anything. Basically, a mentor is just a fancy word for a person that you look up to and look for advice from. Your mentor doesn't always have to be a person that you're able to talk to or be able to connect with in physical, in person, 100%, whether it's through like you walking up to them and asking them a question or whether it's through social media, they don't always have to be that accessible. I am kind of referring to reading books or listening to audiobooks or just written material. Me personally, one of the people that I look up to that I've obviously never met is a person called Simon Sinek. He writes a lot on leadership and motivation and personal type of personal growth type of topics and I've read plenty of his books and it, they really have turned my life around. So I personally would consider them, would consider him a mentor. To be a little bit more literal, um, I guess it has a little bit, a little bit of leeway to it. Some people will look as a mentor being able, you being able to go up to them in person, ask for, ask for information and you kind of connect with them on a personal and social level um, like you would connect with one of your friends. Um, but I personally think if a person is, is 
is supplying information for you that you are getting a positive um, a positive effect from um, that you're gathering information that that is able to grow you as a person and expand your mind a little bit consider them as a mentor you can always send them emails and write them letters if you want to get feedback from them I mean on the off chance I mean you never know you know the off chance of them getting back to you that'd be insane that honestly if I would send Simon Sinek an email and get something back from him I would be amazed completely and utterly amazed that would make my day I would completely that that would light a fire under my ass excuse my language that would light a fire underneath me and I would literally stop and drop what I'm doing and get being productive that's how much of an impact um, mentors have on myself and what I do on a day-to-day -day basis so in all in all to kind of wrap things up for you guys um, mentors are a huge part of personal growth um, personal well-being you always got to have that person that you can lean back on and ask for advice and ask for constructive criticism the only way you actually grow as a person is when you fail or when you make a mistake you have someone to critique you and tell you that hey rethink this Maybe you didn't do this 100% to your ability or 100% that I believe you can do this. Work harder, do something different. Um, obviously, it's gonna depend on the person how, the, how you react to that certain constructive criticism and that's where you have to be open with your mentor, open with your person um, to how effective that type of constructive criticism could be for you. I love it when people call me out. It lights me up, it makes me wanna do better. Um, that, that's just kind of how I construct my relationship with my mentor. So, I mean, all in all, if you can get a mentor, get a mentor. Looking for a mentor, sending out DMs is honestly one of the best things I've done for myself and it has grown me um, as a person, not only in design and entrepreneurship, but as Jared Klein. Um, my mindset has shifted over and over and over again because I have asked certain questions that have, that. I have allowed my mentor to kind of rip me apart on or kind of overwhelm me with with potential um, scenarios or different changes in mindset or different emotions that I've never really experienced before. So I guess to kind of wrap everything up, thank you for coming out today um, and kind of listening to me kind of give my spiel on mentorship. I know it was a little short, but um, but yeah, I mean, it's one of the big things in my life that has impacted me. I wanted to keep it short and sweet for you guys. So again, thank you for coming out today. I really appreciate you coming out and uh, watching this. If you could give it a like, um, potentially subscribe, it's up to you. Obviously I don't control you. <laughs> so if you got value in this, make sure to comment down below and tell me what you got value from. Um, but yeah, thank you. And I will see you guys next week on episode three of Inspiration.